What is up? Um, oh god, we need to turn this down. Okay. All right. What is up, guys? Um, turn it down now. What is up, guys? This time I'm Patty Whitey, and guess what? I got a mic. Actually, no, I've had this mic for a long time. I just didn't know it was possible for it to be plugged into my computer, kind of just because I never really thought of it. And I'm sorry I didn't because now it solves multiple problems. One, you can't hear my little brother being yelled at in the background. Two, um, you, I, I can't play with my hair as much, um, so that's going to annoy you guys less. And also, it, it probably just increases your sound quality as an added bonus. So, yeah. Um, oh, and the game sounds so nice. Yeah, so I turned up all the volume just so I could hear how it sounded on the mic, and it sounds really nice. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go to Dex. I want to, uh, this stream is not just to, to show you guys that I'm wearing a mic. It is because I love this deck. Um, Monogreen has always been one of my favorite decks to pilot. All, like, the, the Stompy decks, the Gruul, the Monogreen decks um, are always my favorite decks to pilot. I always seem to be the best at them, and this is the... The best mono green deck that I've found so far. Um, do a quick overview while I switch the lands. We have four Pell Collectors. Um, absolute phenomenal one drop in the mono green deck. Um, it's going to be a really sad loss when standard rotates. Um, oh, that's a really nice noise. I'm sure you guys love hearing that 21 times. Um, okay, so we have Pell Collector, amazing one drop. Um, it's just pretty much a one mana 3 3 or 4 4 most of the time. Great. Stone Cold Serpent, um, it helps you perfect your curve if you're missing a two drop play it on two if you're missing a three drop play it on three whatever you know etc if you top deck it late game play it for 10 like whatever right another um uh, this is just a better than ram through spell <laughs> it's just it's a it's a very perfect removal spell it's a very clean answer to them going nissa on top of land you just prime light the land and swing that one creature at nissa it's just phenomenal um it also just takes out a lot bigger creatures and very rarely does it act does the fight actually ever matter um for scavenging news instant answer to uro just a great creature it's good against like almost every deck um gains you life gets bigger hard to interact with once it gets bigger um yeah bike guide troll another very very hard to interact with two drop um it's it's got better stats than it than you know it's it's got above average stats two minute three three it's got a counter on it so they can't heartless act it and it can get hex proof if um they try to eliminate it, and then I guess they'll get Heartless acted, but if they want to use two removal spells to kill your two drop, great. Um, okay, we have four Love Struck Beasts, uh, another curve card. It, it fills in the one drop curve with the Heart's Desire, and then the three drop curve with its actual sweet creature. A three mana five five is amazing against Mono Red. It's just a perfect blocker for them, um, and the one one is very good at blocking like a Scorch Bitter or whatever on one, so it's just a good card against Mono Red in general. Harbinger is here purely because of the existence of Sultai and other black based remo or black removal based decks. Um, Hexproof and black is just phenomenal in this format, and it's a above average three four for three with an amazing upside. Like if you get one hit with this, it's so hard for opponents to come back. Like you're just drawing what it, like the best card at a four, and you have like Questing Beasts and stuff. And without further ado, uh, yes, we are playing Questing Beast. Um, Questing Beast is a four mana four four, so decent stats. Um, with Vigilance, Death, Death, Taste. Boom. Great stats, right? And then we had three added abilities, because why not, right? Um, they really need another Mythic, so let's just add... Let's make a 4 mana 4-4, four, four, give them three uh, vanilla abilities, and then add three other abilities that are kind of random, right? So Questing Beast can't be blocked, because just power two or less. That's probably his best ability. Um, second to the... Um, well, I'll get to that one next, but this is his middle ability. Combat damage that would be dealt by creatures you control can't be prevented, so I mean... I guess that's good against like Blight Beetle or like, you know, pro green cards. Um, but this last one is just so nice. Um, it's it's kind of tied, I think, with the first one. It's whenever it deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to a planeswalker they control. So if you four an opponent, like deal four damage with this four four to an opponent, like let's say they just play Narset on three and you go untap draw, land, questing beast, hit you for four, kill your Narset. It's just so much value. It's I love this card. Um it trades up uh you board it out against mono green but besides that it's just great against everything else um we have shifting ceratops which is a main deck also pretty much purely just because of sultai um it's very hard for sultai to interact with it can't get eliminated um and it's a hasting threat most of the time um if you go questing beast into this into turn five shifting ceratops with five lands and you get to haste it 
it's just so hard for them to come back. This deck is just so many ways to just put them so far behind so fast that they just can't come back. Um, it gains a lot of people don't notice. Um, it has hate. It has pro blue and can't be countered, so it's hard for like flash decks, Simic Flash, Dimir Flash, stuff like that to deal with it. But when it eats EVs, a lot of people don't notice that you can get reach with the one mana ability because al almost everyone just goes like play it on four, or give it haste, or I mean play it on five, give it haste, swing. And then they never really use the other abilities. But Trample is also a big one. And um, Reach, you can block a Brazen Borrower. I've had people's coop because they didn't realize that. I just got a free kill on a Brazen Borrower. It's just a great card. Um, and then Vivian is so much value on one creature. It She's better than Garrick. Um, just flat out. Uh, way better four drop. Um, she gives Trample just like Garrick does. She puts counters rather than just giving plus three, plus three, which is kind of random. Um, her minus three is so good. Uh, it kills planeswalkers or creatures. You you have big enough creatures to do whatever, and um, then the minus five will just win a game if you need to get another shifty C from the board to get a haste five damage in or whatever. It's just such a good card. Uh, and then we're playing 25 lands, two Castle Garen Briggs, 21 forests, beautiful forests, and two Bonas Enclave over the Mobilized District. Uh, these are just better. Uh, getting to draw, like, if, these are just better on the Flood. Whereas most of the time in late game, especially in like mirror match type situations, you want this so much more than you want the 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 three three. Like, it's just not really worth it. Um, and then the sideboard, we have three ramp throughs, efficient removal spell, uh, two wilts, destroys artifacts and enchantments, along with gem razor, which also destroys artifacts and enchantments. This is like against like clover decks where we really want both. Um, four OK adversary, mono green. It's just so good against mono green with these. Um, should DC, you know, whatever the these two should DCs would be good against. Um. And one Brace Sardra against Mono Red. This card is so busted against Mono Red. Like, Mono Red just really struggles against that card. So, yeah, this is the deck. Um, I am currently in Platinum. No, sorry. <laughs> Diamond 2 with this deck. Traditional sign of ranked. Um, so, we're going to be running some games. Um, did, the, if, did the audio just cut out? Uh, oh, shoot. Yo, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Um. Yo, I didn't see my chat. I'm I'm deeply sorry, Kyle. Oh, Kylie, what is up, Broski? Um, hold up. my chat is not big enough for my OBS. Let me make it a little bit bigger. How did, how do you? I know stuff. How does Sterling want to be? Such a nerd. Hey, you're a nerd. Don't call me a nerd. I'm a nerd. Yes, I'm. I'm proud to be a nerd. Yeah. Um. You don't use that? Mm. All right, all right. Oh, look at this, guys. F completely full edit out. Isn't that just absolutely phenomenal, right? I love I love the full art in this set. Like, it's so nice. Ooh, it sound this game sounds so nice, too. I've never really heard it in the mic. Oh, I played this game for more than a year now, and I've never heard it in the mic like this. Fire. Look at the combat. Have I ever played Hearthstone? Um, yes, I did play a little bit of Hearthstone uh, just to see if it was as good as this game, and it's really not. <laughs> I mean, it's nice never getting flooded or screwed, but the game is just so luck based with the cards. Whereas, I mean, this game is it's it's hard to explain. But I played the game and I didn't like it as much as I like this game. I don't know, didn't like the game as much. The the um oh yeah, did you guys know that the serpent pops out if you do this enough? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look, look, he breaks through. Um, anyway, yeah, I just didn't like it as much. I didn't really like how the, the games went. But I did like the, the little side quest things you could do. I thought those were really fun. Okay, this seems a little too loud for you guys. Let me... Uh, he's, is he brazen borrowing something? How dare he? Yo, you see, I see how low this audio is. Why is it so... Why is... Why? Oh, he just bounced it? Okay. Well, I guess we'll get another trigger on the Pell Collector. Why, thank you. <laughs> Is he going to stomp the Pug Collector? No, Frilled Mystic. Ooh. That's some value. Um, now I don't want to swing this turn. Maybe that was a misplay. I just don't know what he's playing. I, I assume he's playing Adventures, but he's playing Flash, so. Shifty C is good. Oh, he for sure has the Knife Hack Ambusher. This, I hate this deck because this deck would not be a deck if Knife Hack Ambusher was, was not a card. It is a luck based game. Don't let anyone tell you different. Like this this deck would would not be um an actual deck. Like none of these flash decks would ever be good, except for Demir Flash, obviously, without Nightback Ambusher. Like 
That card, you wouldn't be playing green if Nightback Ambusher wasn't in standard. And look, he's going to play right now. I mean, him trading would be totally fine, but I don't think he, he'll just play it on end step. And then I don't know what I do to that. Like, he'll counter this or he'll bounce the creature, right? Like, I I really hate this card. Like, my my hate for this card is 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 ever burdening. Unless I play it. Then I when I get to play it, I, I think it's a great card. It just is a great card. That's why I hate it. <laughs> It's so hard to interact with him in the in the flash decks, and it comes out. So when it comes out at instant speeds, they can choose to play it whenever, which means sorcery removal spells like this won't hit it while they're tapped out. So you need a ramp through to interact with this while they're tapped out. When they're not tapped out, there's no way this thing is resolving, right? Like, it's just madness. It's absolute madness, lads, lads. Hey, I got him to I got him to center six avatars that. Now, for my next trick, we will watch as my opponent totally does not have a counterspell for this. Your go. Oh, he has a counterspell. Who would have thought? Sinister Sabotage number two. Sabotaging my game plan out here. Surveil's on top again. We'll swing. If he wants to block with his ambusher, he can. Uh, I assume he doesn't. Yep. So the whole point of swinging there was he could double block with these two, but this is blue, so it wouldn't kill the ship we see. Okay, so I assume he had a land in hand. This is whatever he scried on top, so it might be another ambusher. Also, if you have two ambushers, it's just way too disgusting and should not be a legal thing in ma in magic. Okay, we just dump out the hand. See, now this is where Bonner's Enclave is just better than the other 3-3. Three, three. I mean, than the Mobilize District, just because this is just so much better. This, yeah, it's better because it's so much better, duh. No, um, it's better because it's going to give us an extra draw each turn now. Uh, we have three creatures that are triggering it, so we're not really worried about not being able to activate it. Um, and it's just, right now, it's just pretty much three mana and a land, so pretty much four mana draw card every single turn that we can activate. So, in the aggro deck, having, uh, access to that card on a land is just phenomenal. Um, its only downside is it, it's kind of annoying. There are, every once in a while, you get one of those hands where it's just like, oh, I can't keep this hand because I have a colorless land and not a green land. But most of the time, you just get... You get hands like this, where, oh, look, I have eight lands. Now I can, ha you know, spend half my mana each turn drawing an extra card. So, now I'm just outvaluing him. Um, he is making a creature every turn, so I need to kind of find some way of getting over that. Uh, and also, at the same time, praying that he doesn't have another ambusher, which he doesn't so far. Already winning. <laughs> Um, he also can't swing his flyers because this thing can get reach and has pro blue, so they won't even trade with this 5-5. Five five. Damn it, my phone keeps... I want... Okay, so whenever I open up um, OBS on my computer, it, it, um, it mutes the audio for the game. I wonder if it's doing that for you guys. Like, can you guys still hear the audio um, while I go into OBS? If I go... Okay, let me play the Scoos, right? Which is actually amazing here because we have a bunch of sh stuff in our graveyard, right? Nope, no Scoos. Not very amazing, though. So I'm going to go to OBS in 3, 2, 1. And I just open the command. I just I click command. I open my my tab, right? Can you hear the game? Can someone tell me in chat if they can hear the game? Now now, now you'd, you'd be able to hear it, but I mean, like, could you hear it then? Oh, is he really going to copy? Yeah, copying ambushers is so disgusting. There's no way I win now with double ambusher. I don't know how I was winning in the first place. He's making like two four fours every turn for free for doing nothing. That's also so busted, by the way. A four four for four that has flash, so it's almost impossible to interact with. And then it, you just you untap draw past the turn, hold up like two counter spells, and there's nothing your opponent will ever be able to do. I'm drawing two cards a turn in the aggro deck, and I'm not winning. Like what is this madness? I'm doing this. I need I need to have um big creatures so I can maybe draw like a giant uh so I can maybe draw like a giant prime of might and then swing with a trampler and uh I need a trampler to do that. I guess I can shipping speed, but like at this point eventually he's just gonna be like, Alright, I'm gonna swing with these four fours every single turn, you're not gonna be able to do anything about it. Uh I might actually be dead. You know what, if I'm not dead, I'm conceding because that's not winnable. <laughs> that's not a winnable game right there. Um, but 
with this deck, this this oh, this is teamer, so I don't know. But I know the Simic Blast usually has two two mana ramp spells or goose or something like that. So this is actually a decent card to board in. But I don't know whether they have that. So I'm gonna board this out. Um plus one of these. So quick board, you wanna board out your sorcery speed removal spells for instant speed removal spells to help deal with the um the four mana four four night pack boyo. And then you also board in your two uncounterable five drops, or four drops, pretty much, but no one's playing them on four. You're mad if you're playing them on four. Uh, thank you for the file, a follow, Ky Kylie. Greatly appreciate it. My stream frozen. My stream is frozen. Why is my why is my stream frozen? OBS. OBS. I wonder if my recording's frozen too. I'm looking at my stream on my phone and it's frozen. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. Look how beautiful these lands are. So purdy. Yeah, my com my computer's struggling. I can I can tell. My computer's always struggling, <laughs> to be totally honest. Um, this deck seems to really struggle. I don't think it plays too many board wipes because. It, oh, it does have two mana ramps creatures. Screw me. Right now, we're just going one, two, three drop. <laughs> one, two, three, three. And, they, like, this is a one mana three, three on turn, th on turn three. Like, it's just so good. Uh, but now we're burnt out. So, don't have turn three night pack amateur. Which is also, oh, haha, -ha, got him. That's also something absolutely busted that they can just represent, um, which is turn three night pack amateur. And that is killer. I will definitely offer a trade at this point. At this point in time, I'm willing to offer a trade because I have nothing in my hand. And I don't think he knows that, so I don't think he'll trade. I need action, not one drop. That's also really bad, though. If they gust your, your puck collector, it feels real bad. Aha, you're eight. I have a three-card uh, hand full of gigantic five drops you know my 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 all three of my my five drops all three of my elder gargoths are in my hand be be afraid be afraid opponent all three elder gar uh, all three elder gargoths in my deck are in my hand for sure he didn't have a land so he's oh my god oh my god stop okay if he has nightback amateur i'm gonna scoop this deck this deck just does this sometimes and it's so annoying he didn't have a nightback amateur. He doesn't have double blue anymore. He had nightback amateur. That's odd. I don't know why he didn't uh, just okay. At least he doesn't have double blue. So we have if we ever draw a spell, we might actually be able to resolve it. If he actually if he untaps the double blue, then I'm just gonna scoop. Stop. Also, this creature's just ability to multiply itself so fast and constantly and scoos. Scoos. Oh, my stream is really freezing. God, that's bad. I'm sorry, guys. I can see I can see it freezing on my because I'm watching the stream on my phone and it's just like completely frozen. Hey, at least I get my skews to a four four so I can start activating this enclave. Yeah, I mean sometimes this card is just like not as good, but it, the the other land would have done anything better anyway over here. So can't really complain, right? Harbinger. The 
proceed to the drawing of cards. Ah. This card is just, like, so good sometimes. Most of the times. All of the times. Aha. Three mana, four, three. Like, these are just putting out three threes every single turn. How is that fair, right? Like, yeah. No, stop. Team of Flash. All the Flash decks are so annoying to play against. Like, this is one of the reasons that I just, I, it, they make me not want to play Magic anymore. These Flash decks. No, he has untapped blue now. Oh, okay. The game's over. There wasn't much of a hope for me um, once he resolved an Ambusher, but then he resolved a Counterspell. And that's just, like, absurd, so. It's okay. I was, I just got it into the next year, so I'm not actually losing any placement by that. And obviously, I'm going to win this next game because I'm the best player in the world, so. Yeah, my stream is totally frozen right now. I'm going to try restarting my, my phone because on, on OBS, it says everything's fine. So maybe it's my phone. Oh, God. I can show it. I can see it on OBS. It's totally fine. It says it's using 6 .7, 6, about 6% of the CPU, and it's at a, holding at 38 FPS. Um, and the, the box is green. So I don't understand why it's, it's struggling. I don't know. Technology these days, man. At least I have a, a 3 3 3 3 big four drop planeswalker curve. Like, how about them apples? 3 3, slightly better 3 3, ultra powerful. Is this Winota? I haven't seen this deck in forever. I don't even know. I don't even remember what's going on over here. Marty or Winota. I've been playing a whole lot of Standard Ladder and I haven't seen this deck. Am I about to get a uh, Conclave? Elephant Boyo? I am going to get Elephant Boyo, aren't I? Nope. It's Wolf Strider. Next turn, I'm going to get Winota. Four triggers. That's just game ending, right? Like, I don't know how I beat that. That's so fair. You play a four drop, you win the game. Rise, breathe, and listen to the sounds of the wilds, ladies and gentlemen. My, my, how you've grown. Yeah, he for sure has a Winota. He's not even sacking the goat. He's now sacking the goat. I mean, it didn't matter. These both had trample, but... Maybe he doesn't have one. He scries bottom. Yes, don't find the Winota or the land or whatever you need to play that turn for Winota. No untapped land. No untapped land. No! Hey, that's not a Winota. Get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, we did not get Winoted. I would like to thank the the court for not having me get Winoted. And he's dead now. Yay, he didn't kill me, so now he's dead. Magic. <laughs> bonk, bonk. He bonked me. Who'd you let down? She didn't. She said I let someone down. I need to review the footage. <laughs> Oh, I'm looking at my, my phone, and it, it doesn't look like it's as bad anymore. That's right, right? Okay. And then we'll we'll just fight with this guy. Uh, it doesn't really matter, because it's now an 8-8 Trampler, so, yeah. Should I should have fought with the dog, maybe, but I don't think it matters. Yeah. Doesn't matter. He has an 8 that he can only block with a 2 2 because Stone Cold Serpent has Chrome Multicolored. So the game's just over. Uh, Mardu and Oda, whatever you want to bring in. I believe that we're bringing in um, Ranthers. Definitely Ranthers. But I don't know if there's anything else specifically that we'd want. Maybe the Vracious Hydra just because of all the, the cheaper creatures he plays. Just an efficient, I guess, removal. Efficient ish, rem ish removal spell for him. Uh, we'll take out Ceratops, obviously. And probably two Harbingers. Um, just because. They're playing red and not like back black, but now he's playing any removal. Um, I'm not really worried about that. I guess they board in like Noxious Grasp, but that's 
I mean, if you own Synoxus Grass, you should Synoxus Grass something better than my my three drop, right? He didn't have dog on one. Sorry. Dealing with some issues. Um, it looks like we want to, uh, I think we need to Hydra on one, fight the dog. I guess we can't Hydra on one, fight the dog. Screw me. I think we just swing, right? See if he wants to go block with Tajik and start to the Tajik. Haha, -ha, joke's on you, I have a ram through. Hey, outplayed. Outplayed. Bonk. Hey, your dog dies for nothing. I love your dog, but it's now it's now dead. Don't get me wrong. I love dogs. I have a dog. His name is Blue. He's very fluffy. He's got like a mini tuxedo on. It's very cute. Ah, another dog. No. Stop it. Stop it with the dogs. It's madness. Cool. West Indies. He doesn't have four Winota triggers if he resolves a Winota. He wouldn't do that to me though, right? Because he's a he's a nice man. Ow. Or, I mean, you you take it now. Get out. Um, and then I guess we would have to draw land so we could fight away the Winota. Actually, no, we wouldn't because no, yeah, we will because we're gonna block this because we're not stupid, right? <laughs> no way he swings out though, right? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> no way he swings out though, right? Like, that would be absurd. That would be absolute absurdity. Okay. Okay. I think you'd want to... Okay. Okay. Finds nothing off that one. Haha, -ha, big winners. Okay. So I think we just go block here. Block here. Because that's a free block. We'll take 8, 10, 11, 12, maybe. He's letting his Legion War Boss die? No. Why? Ah, I just I just want to kill your one creature, dude. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Well, hold up. Come back here. Uh, there's no way to win this game. Let's not show him any cards. All right. What we needed to do there was hope he didn't have another dog, and he did have another dog, and we didn't have two ram through three. We need three ram throughs if he has multiple more than that, or if he has that many dogs. So there's no way to win that. Um, if we were on the play there though, we might have been able to. Yeah, we would have been able to fight off his dog with the. With an X's one, um, Voracious Hydra, so we wouldn't have had to deal with that. Um, I'm gonna play this on one. Yeah, so now if he plays dog, we should just be able to fight it off, uh, with an X's one Hydra. Oh, no dog. No dog. You ever just top deck Fogwalker around turn two in that awkward situation? Okay. Ah, yes. A land. Ah, yes. Land. Combat. This says pro multicolored. I can do whatever the heck I want. Yeah, he doesn't seem to know how to read. <laughs> he was like pointing at this and pointing at that like multiple times. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> Alright, and then we'll exit to that. Because we can. Get wrecked. And then we can access to this. Access to everything. Fight away something else that's mean. Or that, you know, call my mom a mean name or something, you know. Oh, this will be a 2-3? And I'll have to just trade with a low strider? What, what is this? What is this madness? Oh, but now we need to fight that away because that's going to happen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's go to combat. Let's look at these. I'm going to block. Come at me. Oh, what? What? What is this mad lad doing? This absolute mad lad. Uh, he's looking for something then, maybe? So we'll, we'll, we'll do this then. Double its counters. 
It doesn't. You don't get a trigger though, which is kind of annoying. But at least we have a four or five with Scramble, so I can take out your Winota if I need to with this Ramther. Haha. He didn't psych out there, so that definitely leads me to believe that there's Winota and that he knew he had a, he could play a Winota. Mm, okay. Okay. That is not a Winota. Okay. Sorcery speed raise the army. I hate when people do that. It's it it really is so like I don't know. It's just like mentally annoying to me when people do that. All right, we have a ram through. We can afford to kind of screw with someone here. We might have to triple block something and whatnot. These other things have trample, buddy. You're going to have to double block stuff. Okay. Is he going to block with everything towards my world where Lord Shadow? Nope. Okay. All right. So I think I, I might just want to brace this high to leave my... No, I think I'll let my, my serpent die. Oop. Probably wanted to kill that. And I oop. I'll leave this ram through up just so I don't get winnoted uh, by his abnormally large board. He's okay. I guess I... What? <laughs> I, I guess I will kill your Lazatev Reaver for free. Thank you. This is, this is Trample. This man never ceases to amaze me. Uh, this player, I don't know if it's a man. Probably shouldn't be saying that. I'm sorry if I'm offending someone. Hey, my stream is back to, to more normal. I'm not lagging. And as I said that, I, I froze. How typical. Um, so this is non-combat damage, right? So I think what we want to do here is we want to go like that. Ha-ha! Got him. I think he's dead now. Math is for blockers, right? Especially if he doesn't have a self with savior. Um, oh, he thinks he's dead, so I guess he is dead. Um, we got him. Let's go. Big win right there. Guys, we are only 5-0. and oh. If we go 5-0 and oh in best of three right now, we'll be in Mythic. Oh, yeah. How cool. Be in Mythic for the fifth season or fourth season in a row. So cool. Yeah, and I think it only is only been four seasons, ladies and gentlemen. It's about a year since I have been – no, seasons are months. It's only been four months. Uh, four months ago, I was not in Mythic. I know, that's actually absurd, but I just didn't play the game enough to really be in Mythic. Um, but then I got, I didn't play it, like, I played mostly draft because I was drafting in real life, but now that I'm not drafting in real life because of, of quarantine and stuff. Oh, it may, oh, that makes sense. Okay, here you go. Look at this, look at this. His arm falls off. Got him. Got him. And now he's looking for his arm, and it comes back. I think I already showed you guys this on another stream, but he, he does this too. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at that. I wonder if I can, like. And then he puts himself back together. That's so sick. And then you his like. Green, black, and a Yorion. What is this? Abzan Yorion? That's my best guess as to what I'm playing against. <laughs> and that's not a very good guess. <laughs> um, I now have the choice whether I want to go 3 3 Serpent or 2 3 Troll. I mean, or 2 minutes Troll. I know what we're discarding. Troll. Uh, well, I guess uh, the choice has been made for me. Combat. Ah, uh, yes. Imagine representing nine power on turn three. And it can grow. Like, if I draw a land, I'm just gonna play four four serpent and get out of here. Right? Like, I guess I'm gonna exile a troll because both of these can be three threes and I don't really care too much about a mana. And this can be a four four, which would be amazing. Or I can just, you know, not draw a land. Um, so what I'm assuming is going to happen here is I'm going to swing and he's just going to block because he has a board wipe. I don't trust that he has a board wipe now, but I think I just pass because I have squeeze activations anyway. So if he doesn't do anything, I'll just activate squeeze twice. Don't have another white mana. I guess he has another white mana. So I'm assuming there's just a shatter incoming. Um, or... Kaya's Wrath, I guess, is also viable, but, I mean, he's playing a three-color deck. Like, yeah, there's double white, so definitely some type of board wipe. Apparently not some type of board wipe. Uh, I think I discard the Serpent. It gives me another trigger for the Skews, and I just run with it. And if I draw land, then Vivian's just going to be amazing. If I draw land, Vivian wins me the game, actually, right? Because I'm going to just fight out the Bell Haunt. 
if I don't win the game off that, I'll I'll pretty much won the game, right? Like, if I don't actually put him to zero, um, I'll pretty much have gotten him to sweep by then, because I think I'll get a Garrett Carpenter trigger, comb or damage trigger thing. Unless I, I mean, I can give it. Look, I can give it two counters and trample, but I think I want to just do this, give them trample, right? Rather than fighting, I'm stupid. <laughs> He's just gonna block the puck collector. Oops. I don't think he can do that actually though, because oh, he can, and then fall to one. Oh. I, I totally noticed that, and that was totally, um, you know, perfect. That, that's what I meant to happen, you know? I think we'll play Troll, because if he board wipes, I don't think he'll have another board wipe, right? This will just be a nice Hexproof creature. Tifa Show has a board wipe. Maybe. Never ceases to amaze me. Game's over, though. Um, he can hold up blocker, but I can kill it or just get my creature trample. So there's no way he wins there. Um, so we are playing against Abzan Yorion. This is the toughest deck to board against. I believe we want the Wilts and not the Anguluses over the Shibuchis. I'll just call that a deck. Um, I believe we want to keep the fight spells. We don't want even more fight spells. I think we just the fight spells are nice just because he has like a few creatures. Nothing that we really need to pump our creature to kill, but more things that we just like. If I had a f pump spell to his one creature, I can pump it and hit him for like seven, you know, whatever, because I paid, I turned, I took off my turn to hit him for seven, which is totally fine. Just pump light is just better than ramp through in that situation. I love this audio, by the way. I think it's amazing. Always put your lands on the right side, ladies and gentlemen. Tis a tried and true strategy. Never fails. <laughs> Please don't have it. Okay. I think we'll just let our, our love strike beach go. Not gonna lie, it's kind of slow. I mean, in this hand, it's kind of nice, but that's like given I actually draw a third land on three. And if I even draw a third land on three, then I'd be forced to play a 1 1 serpent to get it to attack, and then I'd risk. Him killing my 1-1 one, one Serpent. Like, it's just too much work to get one five five to, to get maybe one combat, right? Like, hey, representing the exact same board we were last turn. Two games in a row, we're just representing this this amazing start, right? Like, with, with removal spell, artifact enchantment removal spell, and another creature in hand, right? So... Oh yeah, he's ramping. So that's the moment where I pay all my mana, fight this out, and force him to chump block or let me draw the best creature out of seven cards. Yeah. Thank you for that. The doggo. Hello. Why are you so happy? Oh, excuse me. No. I don't know why. He, oh. Okay. Play a four mana four four. Oh yeah. He's gonna like doom foretold me, and I'll be like. Fenlarker. I think this is the time where Wilt goes bye bye. Um, Wilt is nice, but this is his board is too empty right now for. Okay, my hand was nice, but. <laughs> okay then, be like that. Now we have a, a very honorable decision to make. Um, no, it's it's pretty obvious. I just play the creature. I was like, ah, oh, we could activate Ponder's Enclave. Ha ha! But no, we. We should just play our creature before he plays another one of these Fenlurkers or Rats or whatever. That was Fenlurker number three, by the way. So there's no more Fenlurkers, I hope. <laughs> For, they never play on the fourth copy. Got him. Right? Like, stuff can be absurd sometimes. Five. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's gaining three life. A four mana three four gains him three life. 
that he can flicker to gain three more life. Whoa, what is this? What is this overpowered card? Hit him for another four. Bop. Play a love struck beast. Pass the turn. How amazing is this, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, yeah, he's flooded. Oh, yeah. Drops his Yorion. He still can't interact with my Serpent, by the way. <laughs> Just in case you didn't notice, Serpent has Pro Multicolored, so neither of these creatures can block it. Um, so, I mean, I guess he can he can hold up uh, all of his mana and, and give it a pump, but... Swing at these guys. These lovely lads. Chump away a Yarrick Spenlicker. Put him to five. And if he doesn't have one of those hand destruction spells, then I will gladly activate Bonders Enclave on my end step. But I'm not really going to just activate it, get a, you know, five draw, or like a questing beast and be like, ah, ha, ha, Spenlicker. <laughs> right? Like, all right, end step. We will activate this. Watch me get like Primal Might. I'm going to feel so annoyed if I get a Primal Might or like a one drop. Oh, pfft. Ah, why? Why do you do this to me, deck? Decks always seem to do this to me. All right. Do we play this safe or do we have balls? Like, we can target this into that or we can just do this and then just kill him. All right, there's, there's two options. Um, I'm not playing it safe. Playing it safe is for freaking weaklings, right? Like, oh, no, no, we're paying all five. We're big year olds. We're taking out this and he can't block. Here we go. Please don't have it. Please don't have it. Please don't have it. He doesn't have it. Woo! Got him. Hey. This is what I needed, ladies and gentlemen. Getting back into the game with this with this cool mic. And if you noticed, I haven't played with my hair once. Yes. I know. It's so amazing. I think this is this is the breakout. This is this is my breakout stream where I'm I'm just I'm not playing with my hair. I'm I'm winning. <laughs> I finally got I got a mic, so it sounds nicer. You guys don't have to hear my, my parents or my little brother yelling or my dog yelling at people. My dog does yell at people. He doesn't yell like, you know, like obviously with not without words. He yells without words, but he, he goes, Aroo! you know, he's a, he's a loud boy. Um, so, so we're going to we're going to hop into one more game here um, and get into the amazing Diamond One. Um, and then I think I'll take a break for today. I have homework to do. It's already like two. 14 so i have stuff to do i, I have a, i have a few other games i need to play because you know for daily things and i play another game called brawl stars it's a, a mobile game i play it with my friends every night at 6 30 um and there's like a, a mini tournament system for that game so i play that but obviously this is this is the best game ever magic the gathering and also oh i bet no one's watching me because of the um the Mythic Invitational. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to check. I need to see who won that. Probably Gab Nass, just like without even knowing it. Just because I know Gab Nass was, was in the winner's bracket for the finals. So he has like the highest chance of winning. Really going to play a 2 mana 2 on lifelink on me. He's really out here going to play a 2 mana 2 on lifelink. There's literally nothing next turn. Unless he has a, a lord. Which he can't actually play this turn, so. Joke's on you. Okay, what is going on? Uh, he's like, ah. Uh, just threatening it. He, he's just just subtly threatening it. 3-3 three, three Serpent, swing the team. Oh, it has like the, the Rattlesnake Rattle when he ETBs, the, the Serpent. That's sick. I should start making that in real life. <laughs> just like, <laughs> if, I, if I ever bring like, um... Is it in Seoul to a Pioneer Tournament? Just go like, every time a Serpent enters the battlefield. That's just great, right? All right. He gets a lot of value with that Black Lance. So might have wanted to play around that. Might not have. Um, maybe I'm just too good to play around those, those cards. Well, I am too good. Not maybe. I'm obviously just the best player ever. Duh. Um, what does he have that's red mana? Another Fervent Champion? What did he get back? Oh, that. Uh, he tapped all of his black mana for it on purpose. Nice. That's some that's some next level MLG big brain strats, not gonna lie. Tapping out of all of your black mana so that you can get this black lens paragon and not be able to play it. 
That is absolute major skill. Also, you have neither white nor black, so there's no fight as one or anything. Yeah, wow. Your intelligence is unwavering. <laughs> I know, I do that too, so I'm not gonna... I probably shouldn't be so, so quick to judge our opponent's misplay here. But I should be quick to punish it. Charge. Yo, there's a song on this map. You really double blocking? Okay. Games of the 16? Yay. All two for one all day. Aha, now you have black mana. So strategically. <laughs> I think I play Puck Collector, go to combat, expect him to trade, and then the Puck Collector will get a tick up, right? And then I'll play Harbinger Pass. So it's a lot better when there's no Black Lance Paragon to worry about. Does he have a second Black Lance Paragon? Why didn't he play this? Does he have a Stomp? I'm so Confucius. Further grow the Pell Collector. The fact that it that they made it so that whenever a creature dies, also, besides... It, I mean, I could get Enter the Battlefield if it has a greater power, put a counter on the, on the Pell Collector. But when it dies, if it had a greater power, put a counter on it, it's just so amazing. It's so much value on a 1-drop. This is a 1 mana 3-3. Three, three. And we didn't even play it on 1. We played it on, like, 4 or 5 or whatever. No, 1, 2, 3. We put it on, like, turn 6. Like, what? How is it so good on this turn? This is a moment where I put a counter on both, just so that I don't get, like... Civilization has crept too far to tear it down. Tear it down? What is this madness? Uh, this deck is so... Oh, he's in, he's in Platinum 4. Why are we bullying this guy? Why are we bullying this guy? He's in Platinum 4. Arena, Arena, why am I playing against the, a Platinum 4 gamer? He's probably never been in Mythic before. I take this just so I can play it right now. I don't want to do that. Click, clack. On the attack. What does he have? Is he have a, does he have the concede button? No, he has a murderous rider. Okay. Interesting choice. And a, okay. Draw zero cards. What? <laughs> okay, this is a very interesting night stack. This is probably why you're in Platinum. <laughs> no offense. Okay, this game's over. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what he could get. He probably just plays his Murderous Rider. It's a Foulmire Knight. Nah, you just play your Murderous Rider pass, buddy. No, P wants to play both. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna... What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 8, Pell Collector. Fight away one of his blockers. That's just when you know the game's just like over. Let's fight away this one because I'm too gangster to fight away the other one, and then we'll swing. Um, he can't. He literally, if we s just swung with the power collector, we would still win. Um, he only has two toughness for the blocking creatures. You should have. You should have played the other one. I. I don't understand. <laughs> Ggs, burskies. Plenty, it's a, a kind of knight's deck. It's knights, obviously, but it's just, like, not not very good. Sorry to be mean, buddy, but it is what it is, right? All right, we'll cut to Harbingers. Um, I didn't see the uh, the typical white-black removal spell the knights plays, which is the, uh, the dire tactics. Mm, you lose life if you don't have a human. A humane. Uh-oh, my stream's lagging again. Why you do this? Is this my phone lagging? No, I swear it's probably the stream. I don't have a. I have a. I definitely have a worse computer than I do have a, uh, a phone. That's for sure. Hello, hello. Oh yes, yeah, so my mic still works. I don't think you guys can hear the desktop audio when when I'm, when OBS is open. Yeah, you guys you guys must not be able to op uh, hear it. So I should probably stop opening the OBS. Um, I'll do a I'll do a test after the stream on my own just to confirm that. But that's actually really annoying that it, it gets rid of the game volume so that I can't actually like show you guys that. Okay, this is way too loud. Also, what is what what? Oh, it's knights. I don't even know what I'm saying. Obviously, it's knights. I just played against this guy. Turn this down, man. I love this noise, but it's too loud. Why did you board that in? Yeah. <laughs> 
you do understand that I'm mono green, right? Not like green, green, uh, not like Sultai. I, I wanted to say something witty, but I couldn't think of anything except for I'm not playing Sultai. Haha, -ha. you're wrecked. Do we really care about the one mana one one first striker? The answer to that question would be no, because he's weaker than us right now. So, and we have a really crappy hand. So I'd rather just play one of these, hope to draw a three drop. Actually, best draw here would be probably Barkai Troll, so I could like farm light something. No, not even actually. I think it would just probably be a, another a better three drop, maybe like a Serpent or something. I don't even know. Barkai Troll would be better than Serpent in this spot, spot, but this would be probably the worst draw possible. Um, I could give it plus two plus two and trade with the that'd be a, a, a three for one uh, with the acclaim contender. I'd lose a tug collector, a primal might, and he would have gained another acclaim contender. This card's actually really good though, and the night stack. I don't, I so I'm really surprised. I see like a lot less people playing it than, than they should be, to be totally honest. Um, okay, I I don't understand what you could have. Uh, maybe a light of the stage or something. I don't know. I'm I'm killing it. Die. Maybe you just wanted to get one damage in. If you wanted to get damage in, you think you would have swung with the 3 3 and held the 1 1 first striker. Ah, big value. Cycles is his card. Oh, yeah. Tug Collector triggers all over the place. Dolmenham. He didn't find a land there, by the way. Maybe he. No, yeah, he didn't play land because these are both 3 drops. Well, you found the land now. Really had to had to get me like that. Had to get me good. I think I'll trade with the Liliana Standard Bear, not with the Acclaim Contender, but definitely with the Bear. Um, trading with things would be just is a trade one for one trading is fine when you have skews. Like you'll almost always come out on top just because you have skews. So, all right, now I'm no, not really. <laughs> I was about to say, now I'm, I'm kind of fine with trading skews just to grow my tall collectors, but then I was like, no, I really have nothing, so I don't think I can do that. I think I'll do this just for safety. Um, what really sucks is when they go, like, fight as one, and then you just, like, completely lost the creature for no reason, so. Combat. Do we want to swing and see if we can bait him into blocking? No, I'm scared of him having something. To be honest. This is a 3-3 anyway, so it'll block both of his things and get this guy out. So That's kind of nice that we just don't have to worry about, about him attacking us for a little bit. Unless he has, like, Fighter's One or something. Or Cleave. That'd be bad. If he has the Clevio. The Clevio. You have one creature in your graveyard, Mr. Opponent. Because one of these is a human, one of these is not a human. That's annoying. Right. Fine, then. I will just exile that. My excuse grows to a 4-4, four, four, so I can now start activating Bond or Zenclave when I choose. Yes, Opponent, I have nothing. But I might now have something. Oh, okay, that was probably the most, like... The best possible draw. He didn't play anything. What do you have? You're you're toying with me. <laughs> you have a dire tactic or something? You just wanted to hold it up. Rather than play a three drop. I think this is now where you should just be looking for a cleave in this stalemate. Not really. I'm fine with that dying. Pog collectors grow. Aha, one mana three threes now. That was a two mana five five or four four or whatever that triggered like it's just so much value from all this all these mono green cards are just so much so much value. Might have wanted to block there just so if he went a claim contender I could kill his other claim contender <laughs> in response and no he, he would just be a three a three mana three three and he wouldn't get this trigger. Um but I kinda like my tall collectors. You know, alive. So, land worthy knight. No, ooh, that's a powerful spell. You know what we need though? We kind of needed that actually. Um, 
think we'll just fight off one of these. Yeah. Did we play a land this turn? There should be a thing that tells you if you played a land this turn. That would be so helpful. Do you want to block? Uh, sure. That's actually perfect. Didn't think of that, did ya? It's gonna be a little. Some opponents are just so dumb sometimes. Please don't have untapped land. Let's play like a tap land, like the the triome. Oh, that's a card. Oh, you know what's gonna be feel so good? Him swinging in me, ram throwing the inspiring veteran, and getting a free kill. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, is that game? 99% sure that's game. Well, this was really, really lucky. Um, No, it's not game. He's going to get one if he blocks with everyone. He goes to one. I mean, yeah, this is just pure luck. He can't. You have to block with the one one also. So he's board wiped. Um, he hasn't hit a land drop for the past like four turns, and we've top decked like removal spell after um, we've had three primal mites in our graveyard and two ram throughs. But we've only had three creatures this entire game. We won the game with three creatures, and five removal spells. Who ever heard of a, an aggro deck that actually won the game with three creatures and no bolts? <laughs> Mono green aggro that wins with three creatures. That should be a bit title. Plays a three mana three three. You're still dead. Ah. Ah. Okay. Sorry. That was toxic. Six removal spells. Yes, we can draw that in. You can get out of here. Um. Boom. Straight into diamond one, ladies and gentlemen. So close to Mythic. Um, I'm sure I, I'm going to try and wait to, to stream myself getting into Mythic. Um, if I can have that up. But this was a this should be a great video. video. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. Um, I always enjoy streaming with you and, and putting seeing these videos. And I got a mic and I'm not screaming with my hair anymore. Let's go. All right. Anyway, peace out. Um, I have a link to my channel if you want to follow me in one of these corners. Somewhere over there, you know. Um, but yeah, peace out.